Karibuni wapendo watazamaji katika kipindi chenu mnachokienzi ukweli wa habari na hii ni DTM TV enyanya ikiwatangazia moja kwa moja kutoka nchini Denmark na mimi ni wenu wa kila siku mnaye mwenzi Elijah Meru. Asubuhi uh, wakati huu nataka kuja mbele zenu haraka haraka ili niweze kuongea na ninyi kuhusiana na jambo ambalo linapita kwenye vyombo vya habari eh, unasikia kila mahali hiyo nyimbo zinaimbwa kwenye vyombo vile vya kawaida vya habari kwenye radio kwenye tv kwenye social media na ni habari ambazo zinahusiana na haya magonjwa ambayo yako um, tabiri ambayo yako ya kwamba magonjwa ya pili inajitokeza na nchi nyingi wameanza kufunga funga tena lakini pia sana sana mambo ambayo yanahusiana na chanjo na habari hizi ambazo zinahusiana na chanjo tumesikia katika nchi nyingi tu kwamba chanjo wameanza kuzipeana kama Marekani eh, tutarudia hizo habari za Marekani kama vile eh, hapa Denmark kuna wiki mbili tangu waliweza kupeana chanjo ya kwanza tarehe tisa na baina ya wale watu ambao walipewa chanjo ile uh, imeripotiwa kwamba wazee wawili waliopewa ile chanjo uh, wamekufa jana na pia ya kwamba sio tu wamekufa kuna wale wengine pia ambao wako hali maututi ambao walipatikana hayo magonjo ambao wako, wako na jaribu ku, 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 kuwazuia nayo wengi wako katika hali ya maututi na wamegonjwa na mtaalamu wa uh, daktari fulani medics fulani amesema ya kwamba e, wanategemea kwamba uh, itakuwa namna hiyo kwamba watu wataweza ku Uh, shikwa na magonjwa lakini baada ya wiki mbili eh, wataweza kupa, tatu watapea chanjo ingine ya pili au doze ya pili ili kwamba hatimaye waweze kuwa immune kabisa sijui ni kwa nini nafai peanwe mara mbili katika wiki tatu sijui kama ndivyo lakini ndivyo walivyotangaza na katika nchi kama vile Australia kwa wao wamesimamisha kabisa waziri wao mkuu amesema ya kwamba haiwezekani E, kwa sababu walijaribu kuweka hiyo dawa yenyewe na ikapatikana ya kwamba wale wa, ambao walipimiwa kwa dawa yenyewe walienda kupatikana ya kwamba wakipimwa uko ukimwi wanapatikana kwamba wako na ukimwi sasa hata kama hawana kwa hivyo wakaanza kuona kwamba kuna utatanishi pale serikali kaamua ya kwamba iweze kusimamisha kwanza na labda wataangalia au kama watajaribu kurudisha kwenye uchunguzi sijui kwa sababu ndio shida ya kwanza kwamba hii kitu inafanywa kwa haraka sana kiasi ya kwamba hai wataalamu madaktari wana wasiwasi na ule muda mfupi ambao unatumiwa katika kule kuweza e, ku, 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 kuandaa hii chanjo na katika nchi kama vile E, Uingereza nchi zingine kama vile China nchi zingine kama Russia kila wamoja wamejitengenezea dawa za kwao sasa matatizo makubwa ni kwamba Afrika koe walifungia watu kwa manyumba wakawakataza watu wasiende kwenye makazi na huku hakuna yeyote ambaye anatengeneza dawa wakati wetu wa Europe hapa wanajitengenezea madawa zao watu wa Europe wote dawa zao zinatoka pale e, Belgium hata yenye ilikuja hapa ndio makilikuwa yanatoka pale Belgique Brussels ambayo ilikuja hapa na ziligawanywa katika nchi zingine hapa Ulaya watu wa China walitengeneza za kwa wenyewe wa Russia walitengeneza za kwa wenyewe wa Marekani wametengeneza za kwa wenyewe lakini sisi viongozi wetu ambao sijui akili zao zinafanya vizuri wanisamehe tu kusema hivyo sielewi mimi sielewi kabisa wao tu peke yake ndio wanataka watu wengine ndio wawatengeneze dawa na na sasa wende waangalie hii barua ndio maana nimekuja nayo na mimi sitaki comment sana ni barua ambayo inaonyesha ya kwamba e, madawa dawa hii fulani ambayo imepeanwa kwamba hii dawa ipeanwe tu katika nchi za Afrika zote isipokuwa zile nchi za nore ya Afrika kama vile e, Egypt kama vile Libya kama vile e, e, Algeria eh, na Tunisia hizo nchi ambazo 
ziko ndani ya Afrika, Morocco ambazo ziko na Waarabu Waarabu. Hizo nchi peke yake ndio zenye haziko hapa lakini zile nchi zingine zote kuanzia kwa Angola, Benin, Botswana, Burkina Faso, Congo, Sierra Leone, Somali, Sudan, South Africa, Tanzania, Togo, Uganda, Zambia, Zimbabwe, Malawi, Kenya, Tanzania, zote zote hizo nchi zote zile zinaitwa za subsahara na Afrika zile nchi ambazo ziko na watu weusi zote ndio wanasema zipewe lakini hapa kwa naona kwenye kumezingirwa na rangi ya orange au orange color wanasema kwamba dawa hii isigawanywe USA ambao ni Marekani, Canada na isigawanywe katika nchi za EU European Union hapa Ulaya kwenye tupo sasa swali ni kwamba kwa nini dawa itengenezwe yenye itagawiwa watu wengine isipokuwa eh, watu wengine sasa haya ndio maswali ambayo inanifanya mimi nishangae tu haya ndio masuala ambayo yananifanya mimi nijiulize kwa nini jambo hili na ukitaka kujua majibu kuna maneno fulani hapa ambayo yanatupatia kidokezo na ambayo ningependa kwa pamoja tuweze kuyaangalia And if I don't warn you of what the consequences are and you continue in what you're doing with no desire even to change because you think you are living right this enemy is a scientist of evil he's studying bacteriology and chemistry in such a way that he can change you chemically to think you are what you are not he's a wise satan that's who you're dealing with you're not dealing with just common wicked man you're dealing with the satan the god of this world and he's after you black man and woman to take you down with him when he goes let's let's take a look who uh, your baba first we've got population first we've got population Uh, the world today has 6.8 billion people. That's headed up to about 9 billion. Now, if we do a really great job on new vaccines, health care, reproductive health services, we could lower that by perhaps 10 or 15 percent. Now, if we do a really great job on new vaccines, health care, reproductive health services, new vaccines, health care, reproductive health services we could lower that by perhaps 10 or 15%. They deserve to get this vaccine first. And from there you want to do tiering in various countries to make sure your most vulnerable populations get it. Um in in our country that would be blacks and native americans, blacks and native americans, blacks and native americans. And if you are black or african american and you're listening to this You need to know the truth about how you are being targeted for extermination. You and your children and your grandchildren and your parents, you are all being targeted for extermination. Now, to some extent, we are all being targeted in different ways because there is a depopulation agenda that wants to reduce the entire global population to about 1 billion people. But it seems from observing the way they're doing this, they they sure do want to get rid of black people first. and they're actively doing it it's happening right now it's right under your nose most people have no clue that it's going on and the scientific community is working to exterminate you it's the scientists it's the pharmacology evil doers it's 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 the drug companies it's the vaccine companies it's the abortion providers that's who's killing you over six presidents that have met with their joint chiefs of staff to plan a war in the islamic world and to plan a war against black people and particularly black youth and we're at the end of it now the plan is to genocide and kill you all listen to me good only 14% of the black community trust the covid vaccine are you going to get the covid vaccine i don't trust it though you don't trust it what do you think you see the little app, the little thing on the uh, online with it people face turning to the side and yeah yeah i just don't want to be the test dummy what do you think politicians need to do in order to gain the trust of the black community do something to help the black community in real life 
Yeah. What? Put in, put in some policies to what? help us. Um, a what? lot of the uh, a lot of the government shit. I don't be thinking is for us. Period. Does it give you any encouragement that Barack Obama's willing to take the vaccine on camera? Nah. No. Because you know, in reality, we blessed like certain people and certain opportunities get certain things. Like, what, what's that politician that had the little brown shit running down his face? Rudy Giuliani. He just said something about having celebrity status for his COVID-19 treatment. Yeah. So I think a lot of that happens in real life. Like, like if I go to the hospital here, they're going to admit me fast. They're going to get me faster than the, the normal person, which ain't really fair. So I don't, me seeing him do that wouldn't make me feel like, you know what I'm saying, I still want to do it myself. Right. But even though you are a celebrity, you don't feel like you would get any celebrity treatment with a vaccine? In the sense that, like, if you get into a hospital here... I wouldn't want to do that because, shit, people don't, don't got what I got. They don't have the opportunity, so that ain't fair. Yeah. Like, people dying from that shit, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Kama unavyo wasikia, wanaongea hawa watu wa mungu. <laughs> Sijui naongea tu haya maneno yawe kumbukumbu kumbu. kama yatakuwa yanatolewa kwenye mtandao labda unaweza kuyapata kwa njia ya WhatsApp au njia nyingine kama utafuate na kuangalia kama hautafuata pia ni sawa Huyu baba wa kwanza ambaye na anaitwa Louis ni kiongozi wetu Nashangaa kwamba kuna hata wa Afrika ambao wako kule Marekani zaidi sana wale ambao wametoka Afrika sasa hivi ambao hawana kulu au mjua hata kumjua na wenye wanamjua wanamjua kwa sura mbaya kwa sababu media zilimuonyesha kama shetani kwa sababu ndio wanafanyaga wakipata mtu wetu mwingine mwenye tu wako na nia mzuri mwana tutetea mwanasimama kwa ajili yetu anampatia majina yote mabaya E, kama ni mwanasiasa watahakikisha kwamba wamemuua hata kama si mwanasiasa kama kuna njia ya kumtoa uhai watamtoa uhai kama ni mtu ambaye anajaribu kwa sababu wanasema hawataki watupatie hata sekunde ya kupumua kwa sababu kitupatie sekunde ya kupumua tutasimama kwa miguu yetu kwa hivyo wameamua wahakikisha kwamba tunakuwa domine kwa njia yoyote sasa kama ingekuwa tu kututomine haingekuwa lakini sasa a, wanadai hawa wote ya kwamba wanataka watumalize na huyu baba wa kwanza ambaye namuita Luis sitataja hiyo jina yake nyingine kwa sababu eh, ya sababu hapa ni kwa sababu ya nasema ya kwamba hawa majamani wabovu ni watu wataalamu ambao wamebobea katika mambo ya kujifunza hizi mabakteri ni watu ambao wamebobea katika mambo ya science, ya science ambayo wanajaribu kujifunza kwa njia ya kuharibu binadamu wengine Nasema ya kwamba wamepanga hii kitu na alianza kusema hii kitu sio leo sio jana alianza kuisema mbele kidogo kwamba imepangwa hii kitu ili kwamba waweze kumalizia sisi na alikuwa anasema ya kwamba tujihadhari na njia ambazo wanazipanga yule baba wa pili ambaye alimfuata ambaye yule ambaye alikuwa ni mweupe eh, natumia mweupe kwa sababu ndio lugha wanaitumia pia wao wenyewe Yana sema ni mjukuu alikuwa mjukuu ule rais ambaye alikuwa anaitwa eh, Kennedy. Kennedy anajulikana kama rais mojawapo ambaye alikuwa independent pia katika nchi hiyo ya Muyomba Sam. Anasema alikuwa ametafuta ku watu ambao kwa sababu yeye mwenyewe pia ni mwana sayansi alijaribu kumtu yote katika watu weusi ambaye angeweza kumuongelesha mipango mibaya ambayo iko juu yetu hakumpata. Wote wanasiasa wako katika ile siasa za kule Marekani, pale ba depute, pale ba ba ba, 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 ba senator na wengineo, wote walikataa kumsikiza. So akaenda kwa ule baba ambaye alianza kuzungumza wa kwanza pale. Na hapo ndio alikuwa anasema ya kwamba inaonekana ya kwamba wanadamu wote wanapangiwa kupunguzwa, lakini e, wale ambao wana 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 wana, 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 wana pangiwa mstari wa mbele ni watu weusi na watoto wao na wajukuu wao na vituku vya vituku vyao Ina, anasema inatendeka saa hizi na watu hata hawana habari na wanasema njia ambayo wanaweza kuzifanya nayo ameisema na yule bwana Bill Gates ambaye mlimpata pia akiongea nyuma Farrakhan ya Louis naye aliweza kuizungumza anasema ya kwamba yeye 
e, wa, binadamu wako wengi na wanaharibu hali ya hewa ya ulimwengu wanaharibu mazingira ya ulimwengu na alipeana element zingine lakini alizungumzia juu ya binadamu akasema kwamba binadamu sasa hivi wako bilioni karibuni saba na wanaelekea kuwa bilioni tisa sasa wanajaribu kufanya kazi ili kwamba wapunguze binadamu na akasema kwamba wakifanya kazi mzuri wanaweza wakapunguza binadamu kwamba asilia asilimia kumi kumi na tano hivi na njia ambazo alizipeana msikilize vizuri ambazo bilgit alizipeana za kupunguza binadamu ilikuwa mambo ya chanjo ilikuwa mambo ya madawa amesema vile <laughs> na mambo ya zile vidonge za kupima uzazi yule ndugu wa mjukuu wa Kennedy yeye ameongeza pia mambo ya vile mambo ya, ya kutoa ya kupima uzazi ya kutosha mamimba mnasikia pesa zinamwangwa tu sana Afrika kwamba wanawake wapewe ruhusa ya kutoa mamimba constitution zote ambazo zinatengenezwa katika bara la Afrika kwamba lazima hiyo haki ya kina mama ipeanwe mwanamke achague kama atazao asizae lengo sio ni lengo ni kupunguza sisi na sasa hiyo barua ambayo tunilionyesha kwanza mwanzo zoni hapa barua hii hapa ni barua ambayo inaonyesha kwamba ni njia moja wapo ya kuhakikisha kwamba wanapunguza binadamu na sasa huku kwenye tuko atilise labda watu wako na midomo wanajitetea wanafanya nini na nini lakini kule hakuna kuna mtu mwingine mweusi pale alionekana akiwa navaa t-shirt ya, 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 ya red na huyu ndugu alipokuwa anaongea alikuwa anaulizwa swali na mwanamke pale anamuuliza yeye ni superstar ni wale ma celebrity anamuuliza je wewe utaenda kuchukua hiyo chanjo jamaa anasema mimi siiamini anasema eh hauiamini na wewe ni celebrity wewe ni mtu ambaye unajulikana kwa sababu nilifanya video mbele hii kitu ikianza nilifanya video kaza na nikawaambia kwamba hii kitu wanawatumia wale ma celebrities si kwa sababu wako wagonjwa lakini ni kwa sababu wanataka waonyeshe kwamba hii kitu haina matatizo na mimi nakumbuka bwana Obama akiongea kwamba ataenda apewe hiyo chanjo kwenye mkono atapewa chanjo kwenye TV kwenye re, watu wote wakiona ili aweze kuhamasisha watu kupewa hiyo chanjo anamuuliza ndugu hata Obama akienda achanjiwe je wewe hautachanjwa tu bado anasema hiyo mimi sikubali nitajua na nini ya kwamba hiyo mnamdunga kwamba ni hiyo chanjo na sio kitu kingine au nitajua na nini kwamba hata hiyo shindano mnaweka tu kwa mungu kwa mkono na muingizi kwa sababu tuliona kama ni huko Australia tena njoo alijaribu kuonyesha kama wanamudunga yule waziri mkuu lakini kumbe hawako wanamudunga chochote Hewe, hata shindano yenyewe ilikuwa inaonekana ilikuwa ingali na nani na shindano yenyewe ilikuwa inaonekana ilikuwa ingali na nani na na ile plastiki ya kwake Asa mambo haya ndugu zangu ni mambo ambayo yanahitaji majibu ni mambo ambayo yanahitaji majibu kuliko maswali na ndio ndugu akasema ya kwamba siwezi wanamuuliza sasa na wewe uko na pesa unaogopa kitu gani ambia mimi kasi na pesa kuna wengine ambao wanahitaji eh, hawana pesa kama mimi lakini wanahitaji hiyo kitu na hivyo basi ndugu zangu ni mambo ambayo yanatisha ni mambo ambayo ni ya kuogofia ni mambo ambayo lazima tuweze kufikiria mara mbili kwa sababu eh misi waambi kile mtafanya lakini ni jambo la muhimu sana kwa ninyi kuweza kufikiria lile jambo la kulifanya kwa sababu tusipoangalia ndugu zangu kizazi chetu kiko hatarini watu wengine wananiulizaga wanasema hata mtu akikuwa wicked na mna gani anaweza akamaliza watu wote kama nyinyi watu hamwamini na waombeni tu muende sehemu inaitwa marekani muende muulize wale watu ambao walikuwa wanaitwa walikuwa wanaitwa um, red indians Mwende muwaulize kenye kiliwatendekea mtaambiwa kama hamwamini mwende uko Australia mwende muulize watu walikuwa wanaitwa Abrogen mtaambiwa kama hamwamini mwende kwa hizo nchi ambazo wamezihepa ziko ndani ya Afrika lakini wamezihepa hawatazifanyia hiyo chanjo kwa hiyo ambao tumeiona pale chini kama Egypt kama e, nchi kama vile e Egypt, Libya, e, Algeria, Tunisia. Hizo mainchi zilikuwa na watu weusi kama mimi wako wapi leo? 
Naomba, mfuate huyo baba pia. Huyo baba mbae pia ni daktari. Na mbae na ulizo wa maswali. Kwa mba hawa watu walitabiri ya kwa mba uvumi wa pili unakuja. Na uo uvumi utahua watu wengi sana. Lakini na unakana kwa mba watu wajakufa. Kisa huyo baba anapea na majibu wa mba nitarudilia ni wapatia na pasi. Wala mba mnasikia kingereza umusikiliza vizuri. Anafu nitarudia kidogo kukomenti kwa kile mba chwa natuta kusema. First factor is that when a person is wearing a face mask, they are breathing in their own carbon dioxide, they're becoming hypoxic, they're reducing oxygen, they're stressing their body out because they got to suck oxygen in. It stresses in. me out. I, I won't wear one. It's but, but terrible. But that's, that's emotionally stressing out. Yeah. We haven't gotten there yet. We're just talking about the physiological stress of trying to suck oxygen through a mask. Okay, that's the first thing. When you do that, you're causing the body to go into a sympathetic mimetic state, into a stress state, into a flight-fight response, which spikes cortisol, and cortisol suppresses the immune system. So your lymphocyte subpopulation goes down, which makes you now susceptible to any pathogen, bacteria, virus, spirochetes, mycoplasma, yeast, whatever. So that's part of it, okay? Now, on top of that, when you're breathing in the components of the, of the face mask, remember that the people that are dying from COVID-19, they seem to have an altitude type sickness. They seem to have a hypoxic injury. While there's a histotoxic, hypoxic injury that's described in the medical literature that actually happens from toxicity uh, of the lungs. So when you're breathing in from this mask, there's various types of um, components that are, the, the mask is made, made from plastics, okay, it's like the propylene component. When you're breathing that in, the humidity breaks that component down until you're inhaling these toxic substances, now further making your immune system more susceptible. That's just from the initial portion of the mask. Now you come outside of the house, you're scared because you don't know whether you're going to get something. You're financially distraught. You're emotionally distraught. They've been keeping us away from our social circles, not from our families. So when you come out, your immune system's already susceptible to getting anything. That's the first factor. Mm. Now on top of that, you've got the technology that's being rolled out, the 5G. Has nothing to do with COVID, but 5G has a tremendous impact on the immune system. This is rolling This is not 5G that's on my phone, by the way. No, the, it's not. It We're talking about cell phone technology, the, the, next, the, generation. Newest the next generation. generation. Yeah. Correct. So the, the new generation technology, uh, you know, we we're talking our phones are probably 500 to 900 hertz, maybe 1500 hertz. The new technology is going to be between, 30, when it's fully rolled out, between 30 gigahertz and 300 gigahertz. To give you a net reference, one gigahertz is one billion with a B hertz. So they're talking about 30 billion to 300 billion hertz. And the, mm. the science, the literature, over 2,000 peer-reviewed studies have been done showing that at 1.8 gigahertz, remember, they're rolling out 30 to 300, at 1.8 gigahertz, cancers of the heart, which is very rare, cancers of the brain, cancers of the adrenal system, other types of neurological implications start to become exponential. you're holding that phone right up there to your head. You don't even have to hold the phone. Yeah. It has not even the phone. It's just the tower. What's the, in the airway. Exactly. Okay, let's go back to that mask. Marcus, if I can just finish this last finish part. Because the, the, those are the, that's the second thing. And then the third thing that's going to happen, the, and this is where the, se the second wave is coming in, people are going to be in a frenzy to get this vaccine, whatever vaccine is coming out. And we can talk about specifics of the vaccine, but when it, whichever people get the vaccine, that's the real danger. They get the vaccine, they're going to die. They're going to get sick. So you, oh. have, you have susceptibility issues, you have the 5G making people more immune uh, compromised, and then you have the vaccine. And that's going to cause a lot of people to die, and they're going to use that as a false flag to say, see, we told you second wave's coming, now we mandate vaccines. And that's what we have to prevent. So people become empowered with the knowledge, knowing what they're planning, so that then the people are going to laugh at it. This is the same exact thing they try to do with H1N1, Ten years ago, President Obama, if you remember, said that 20 uh, that the tw uh, 20 percent of the population, 60 million Americans were going to die. Do you know why they didn't die? Because people refused to take the H1N1. And people take this whatever vaccine is coming out, we are going to have mass death. Ukimsikia huyo baba naongea, unaelewa kwamba ni mutu anaelewa kili anakizungumzia. Na yali kwa nauliza swali ya kwamba ni vipi hawa watu walipanga na walisema ya kwamba hii uvumi ya pili itakuja itawa watu wengi kama walivyo sema itaenda Afrika itawa mwanga itawa maliza wa Afrika lakini hakuna kitu kenye kilifanyika. Anasema wanajua ni ukweli wanajua kwamba itakuwa kwa sababu wao wameipanga na mepeana sababu tatu kubwa ambazo zitaache inafanyika anasema kwamba hizi mavitu ambazo munavava hizo speke yake ni njia ya kualeta hiyo magonjwa kwa sabi ye kama mutalamu anonisha kwamba wakati ambapo nafunga mapua kuna ile hewa ambao naitowa na wakati ambao naitowa iku sapoze kuenda inje na ibadirisho na hewa ingine nzuri ingie ndani sasa ile hewa ambaya 
wakati ambapo umefunga mapua ilo hewa kuliko itoke nje inarudia ndani na ikirudia ndani inaharibu ile immunity wale maaskari ambao ni wa kuzuia e, e, wa kutunga mwili wako na maattack za kutoka nje na yeye anasema ya kwamba basi ikitokea hivyo mara moja kama kitu yote kinaweza kukupata ugonjwa aina yoyote utakunani kwa sababu hiyo kitu imekufanya ya kwamba e, E, ma, wale maskari ambao wanaweza kupigana na magonjwa aina yote ambayo yatakuja kwa mwili yako unakuwa vulnerable mwili yako inakuwa haiwezi kujitetea tena ameongeza habari za ile wakati unatoka nje sasa ukiwa na wasiwasi ule woga pia kwamba nao unashusha ile maskari ile immunity pia yaenda chini na jambo la pili amelizungumzia ni kwamba kuna hizi maantene zao kwa naweka huku nje internet kama hapa kwenye mimi naishi tayari tuko na hiyo inaitwa 5G generation ya tano ya nani ya internet ambayo ni ya matata sana ambayo pia inaleta magonjwa ya makansa kulingana vile anasema na jambo la tatu ambalo ameweza kulizungumzia ni hii chanjo kwamba chanjo atakayo kuja kuileta nayo itawaua watu kwa njia fulani na sasa ndugu zangu hawa watu wote sijui kama ni wenda wazimu sitaki comment zaidi kwa sababu mimi si mtaalamu na jaribu tu kuwaletea habari vile zinavyo jiri na yanaonyesha kwamba hizi ni vitu ambazo zimepangwa tu vizuri na sasa ninyi ambao mko katika bara la Afrika mumepona mambo ya nani ya corona ya nani ya ya, ya Ebola tulipona mambo ya malaria tulipona ma, mambo kama vile ya magonjwa zingine za hatari hatari masifilise makaswende ma ukimwi na vitu mingi ambazo walisha experience kwetu vingi tu lakini tukapona hii haiwezi katofanya chochote Mungu ambaye tunamuomba na kuwa waangalifu kwa hivyo kwa sababu kule hamuko kontrole sana hamko controlled sana kama vile wa, e, neo hili ambao tuko sisi wengine ambako e, hesabu zinakuwa ni kidogo sana nimekuwa nisoma kwenye vyombo vya habari ya kwamba leo waziri wa mambo ya uchukuzi chuku, hapa alikuwa anasema ya kwamba ile passport ya kusafiri ta, iko tayari njiani kwamba uwezi utakupanda ndege ukatoka nchi moja kwenda nchi nyingine isipokuwa uko na hiyo sasa nchi nyingi Afrika watu wengi hawasafiri na wale ambao wanasafiri hawatumii sana ndege ndege ni waliofanyaga kuwa likse kule kwetu wakati huku kwingine ndege ni kama tu basi yao treni unajua lakini kule kwetu watu wengi wasafiri na mandege kwa hivyo hiyo kitu ambao watu kama hii hata wana wanaipanga wana, wana kwamba lazima watu wote waweze ku, 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 kupata, kupata hiyo passport ingine ambayo itakuwa inaonyesha kama ushapata chanjo au hujapata chanjo ni mtakuwa mko safe so ningewashauria tu watu tu kama inawezekana si, sina shida tumeshapata chanjo za mingi kiangalia hata kwa mkono wangu sisi ambao tuko na chanjo tushapata chanjo za aina nyingi nyingi tu chanjo sio shida lakini shida ni kwamba hii ambayo inaletwa sasa hivi ina utatanishi tu mkubwa tu sana na lazima watu tujiangalie na tufanye angalisho in fact katika nchi ya Ufaransa kuna mwanasheria fulani ambaye yeye ameamua eh, kuenda kushtaki na yeye amesema ya kwamba ikiwa kuna watu ambao watataka njoo huyu niwapatie msikilize kwanza alafu njoo eh amesema kwamba hata nimalize tu ikiwa kuna watu ambao watataka ku uh, madaktari wanataka kuwadunga watu au kuwalazimisha watu kwamba wadungwe hizo shindani anasema ya kwamba wanataka kwamba hawa madaktari kwanza wasaini form wasaini kwamba mimi wa fulani wa fulani ninamdunga huyu mtu hii shindano chochote kikimtendekea mimi niko responsible na wao wanasema kwamba akikataa huyo mtu kusaini hiyo kitu na wao usikubali na wewe kudungwa hiyo kitu na kitu cha pili anasema ya kwamba daktari wa kama naona ndio kawaida iko hapa huko kwenye tuko kwamba ukienda kwa daktari kama unataka kwenda kupasuliwa au unataka kufanyiwa service ya aina yoyote tu kwa daktari in most cases wanakupatia information ili kwamba kwa sababu wana wanalazimishwa na viapo ambavyo wanavichukua kukupatia ile information kabla wa kufanyia chochote kama wanataka kufanyia upasuaji kama wanataka kufanyia chochote kile lazima usaini kwanza ya kwamba umekubali kwa sababu wamekupatia ile information unahitaji ndio anasema kwamba hao majamaa lazima wapatie watu information ya kuwaeleza kwamba nini iko ndani ya hiyo chanjo na hiyo chanjo kwamba haina hatari ya wasara yoyote na kwamba wasara ikipatikana yule mtu 
ata yule daktari ambaye alikutunza atanani na madaktari wengi naonekana ya kwamba hawataki kufanya hivyo ni kama wale majamaa ambao wanatengeneza hizi machanjo wao wenyewe uwezi kuwashitaki mahali popote hizo kampuni kubwa kubwa ambao wanatengeneza hizi vitu uwezi kuwashitaki kwa sababu wao wenyewe wanajua vile walivyofanya na wanajua wanavyoviweka hapo ndani kama alivyosema yule baba mwingine tajiri mkubwa ulimwenguni ambaye sasa kumrudilia kila saa nzije nikajiletea matatizo mengine hapa tumsikilize o baba alafu tukonclure hii kipindi nimesema la trouille j'ai dans la plainte pénale nous avons échangé nous avons mis un échange entre les médecins libéraux internationaux et conseil de l'ordre en France le conseil de l'ordre qui parle du postulat il faut vacciner de le côté on dit mais attendez on ne connaît pas les résultats on ne connaît pas les effets etc vous demandez de pratiquer un acte moi maintenant je donne un simple conseil à tout le monde aujourd'hui je vais, euh, nous sommes en train de travailler sur ce qu'on appelle une déclaration de responsabilité qui doit être signée par celles et ceux. Dans les termes suivants, vous avez un produit qui s'appelle un médicament, thérapie génique au vaccin. Très bien. Il est fait de quoi Qu'est-ce qu'il comporte Quelles sont les conséquences Deux, le médecin. Médecin, tu as des obligations. Tu dois m'informer, tu dois me dire les conséquences, me donner toutes les informations pour que mon consentement soit éclairé. Trois, Ok, si tu es convaincu que toutes les normes du Code de la santé publique ou les normes internationales sont respectées, tu signes en bas que tu es prêt à engager ta responsabilité civile, personnelle et pénale. Là, je veux bien voir combien de médecins signeront cette déclaration de celles et ceux qui passent leur journée sur le plateau télé à dire qu'il faut se vacciner. Oui. Et je suis sûr. Et là, ça sera la vraie contrainte. Et quand vous aurez ça, je peux vous dire autre chose, les gens ne se verront pas vacciner. Parce que soit je donne un conseil juridique et le client me dit « Maître Brousa, êtes-vous prêt à signer sur l'engagement de la responsabilité si vous ratez ?» Si je ne le fais pas, ben le client il a le droit de dire « Maître Brousa, vous êtes en train de me tromper. » Si je signe, je signe, j'engage ma responsabilité parce que j'amène le client vers une certaine stratégie et vers une stratégie dont j'assume la responsabilité. Oui. C'est ça. Car le vaccin ne prend aucune responsabilité. Et ça, euh, juridiquement, le vaccin, alors, et a... éthiquement, ce n'est pas normal. Parce que dans les protocoles éthiques, vous prenez la responsabilité des conséquences non, des personnes qui sont dans le protocole. Aujourd'hui, on sait très bien. Il y a des fonds de garantie qui sont, qui sont financés. Juste ça euh, encore. Clause d'exclusion de responsabilité. <rire> juridiquement parlant, on sera sur des procès qui vont durer des années avant d'être démisés sous les conséquences. Et donc, à partir du moment qu'on a tenu toutes ces responsabilités, automatiquement, on protège les responsabilités individuelles. Et c'est pour ça que je parle de cette déclaration. Parce que du fait que nous sommes dans un acte thérapeutique, et le, le docteur peut, peut le confirmer, ne sont pas dans le cadre d'une vaccination légale euh, des enfants qui doivent protéger ça. C'est pour ça que là aussi, on mélange les chèvres et les choux, hein, juridiquement parlant. Le C, nous sommes dans le cadre d'une thérapie. À partir du moment que nous sommes dans la thérapie et pas dans une vaccination collective conforme aux règles légales en la matière, nous sommes dans le domaine de l'action que le médecin entreprend, c'est-à-dire le fameux contrat médical qui relie le médecin à son patient, et pas un contrat social qui relie chacun de nous avec l'État. Et c'est là que l'État veut faire croire que c'est lui qui est en train de vacciner, et le langage est celui-là. Le langage, nous allons vacciner, mais vous imaginez un peu avec quelle, euh, comme on dit, euh, arrogance, les premiers ministres, les, les, les hommes d'État du monde se présentent sur le perchoir, dire « nous allons vacciner demain les personnes âgées, nous allons vacciner les personnes hospitalières ». Mais, mais c'est une honte scandaleuse, parce que c'est un autoritarisme qui dépasse l'entendement. Oui, merci beaucoup. Basi nduguzangu mumesikilia ninyu wenyewe, mumesikia anavyo sema na wanavyo kata, huko ni huko ulaya, huko siyo Afrika, ni madaktari na wanasheria na watu wengine ambao hawaoni clear, hawaoni sawa katika hii mambo yanayoendelea Na jifanya tu hivi kwa ni habari, na mimi sina uwezo wote ya kuambia kile mtafanya lakini ni kwa juzeni tu mambo ambayo yanaendelea. Kwa mwisho nataka niwaonyeshe huyu mwanadada ambaye kule Marekani alichagua kwenda kupewa hiyo chanjo. Na baada ya kupewa chanjo sasa hawezi akacheka mdomo wake umegeuka, sura imefanyika nini na anaomba kwamba hata adui yake asikubali hiyo kitu. Tumalize na hii. I am a registered nurse in Nashville, Tennessee, and my name is Kalila Mitchell. I'm reaching out to everyone about the COVID-19 vaccination. I recently took the COVID-19 vaccination. After the shot, I felt fine, but within three days, I went to the doctor because I had problems with my face. 
the whole left side of my face actually um, I have Bell palsy now and as you can see I can't smile as I'm trying to smile I'm just kind of embarrassing one but I just want everyone to know that I think this vaccination is the worst thing ever and I would not give this to anybody even my worst enemy please America they do not care about us do not take this vaccination sina zaidi ya hiyo lakini kama nilivyosema na, na naomba na waomba na waomba kwa unyenyekevu wote tafadhali 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 kama mna uwezo ya kukataa hii kitu kataeni zaidi sana nyinyi ambao mko nyumbani nyinyi ambao mko na uwezo wa kukataa nyinyi ambao mko na uwezo isipokuwa labda wakuja na mabunduki na hata wakikuwa nazo hawana uwezo katika nchi zingine kama hizo za kwetu ambazo hata barabara hakuna na wakikuja hata na bunduki kama na njia kujitetea jiteteeni kama ni afya mtu anataka kusaidie au anataka kutunze ni haki yako ukubali au katae kwa sababu hata huku wanakufanyaga ukubali watakuwekea mazingira ambayo iko ngumu tu mpaka ukubali we mwenyewe lakini hawakuna mtu anaweza kuja kutia kufunge kamba kusudi ukubali haya mambo na kama vile uamuzi wa nchi kama vile uh, Switzerland wameamua nchi kama vile Australia wameamua kwamba wangoje kwanza waone kwamba hii kitu inafanya vizuri ndio waichukue. Namalizia hapo ndugu zangu kuambie ni tu mjichunge na Mungu wa mbingu awe pamoja na ninyi. Ni mimi wenu wa kila siku Elijah. Asante sana. Mungu awabariki.